Hey there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosque Bounty video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the awesome items that I managed to pick up at Echo Live. Now for anybody that doesn't know what Echo Live is, it's an event that happens every six months. Uh, I don't really want to call it a convention but basically it's a chance for collectors to get together and basically buy some cool Star Wars items. So I met up with some fellow collectors that I know from Twitter so it was great to see them again. And I also met up with some fellow YouTubers, so I met up with Chris from Toys of the Jedi and I also met up with Nick from Only One Kenobi. So I'm sure if you're watching my channel you've probably watched theirs as well. If you haven't then make sure you do check out their channels because they do make awesome content. And I just wanted to go through with you the things that I managed to pick up. So I'm going to start off with the thing that I'm most happy with that I picked up and as you can see it's in the camera shot right now. So it is the... ATST driver on the Power of the Force card. It's a vintage figure from 1984. Uh, it comes with a collector's coin there. It does have a price sticker, which I don't mind because that really just shows its authenticity. And if we look at the back there, special Star Wars coins collect all 62. And you can see there, there is the date of 1984. There's all the other figures that you could get, collect all 92. And it obviously includes the last 17 figures, which were on the Power of the Force card. The bubble is clean as a whistle. You know, there's not one hint of yellow on there. There's no dings whatsoever. It's an absolutely stunning piece. I'm so pleased with it. Um, I managed to snag it pretty much at the end of the day because um, I was umming and ahhing of what I actually wanted to buy. Now, I did actually go there with a list of things that I wanted to buy, but it never kind of works out that way. I, I was actually looking for a... Um, an ATAT driver. Um, I'm after a Empire Strikes Back card without the off, so it's got the nice clean image of the ATAT driver. But hey, I managed to get an ATST driver instead, which I'm sure you'll agree is a stunning item. Now, talking about this guy quickly, I just wanted to show you something, and that is this custom one that I managed to win on the Only One Kenobi channel. So he was doing a competition for, I think it was his 500 subscribers, I want to say. And basically you had to guess how many of the vintage collection figures he has got loose as well as carded. Now basically my daughter actually guessed, I can't really remember what she guessed now, I think it was 75. And she won, so obviously she has no need for this, but I thought it was pretty cool. But I thought I'd just quickly show you it because I haven't had a chance in any of my other videos. And I wanted to just give a shout out to Blizzard Force Customs because this is actually the first custom figure I've ever owned. I've never really been into recarding figures or anything like that. And as you can see, it is actually a vintage collection figure. I, I don't know whether it's the one that actually came with the ATST itself, the Black Series version, or if it's one of the guys that comes in that two pack, the two pack Endor pack. But still, he looks pretty good there on, on his card. And I just thought, you know, it's pretty good, these things. So there you go, Blizzard Force Customs. I think you can find them on Instagram or Facebook. Um, but yeah, for a custom card, I was, I was quite impressed with that actually. So anyway, that's just that. I just wanted to quickly show you that because obviously, as I mentioned, I haven't had a chance to show you. I've had, I've actually had it for a couple of weeks. So, Okay, so the next item I managed to pick up was the Jabba the Hutt action play set. So this is on the Return of the Jedi box. And again, this is a vintage Kenner item. Now this one definitely was on my hit list. So obviously I made a list before I went of the things that I wanted. And this was definitely on there. Um, and I think I've pretty, got a pretty good, pretty good one here. So... Obviously the box is in pretty good condition, I'd say. We've got a bit of tape here, which is which is quite normal, really. Um, bit of a rip on that side. That side's pretty good too. Um, and all the insides are there, so if I just open it up, I'll just get Jabber out. So Jabber's actually still in his in his plastic baggy that he that he came in. So he's a pretty good one. His head still moves his turtle. Actually, let's get him out. So there he is, there's Jabba. And his head still moves the tail. So that's pretty cool. I'll just put him back in. Now there's the actual platform that he sits on. And obviously it's got these things that you turn here and it lifts up the trapdoor there which is awesome. 
all the other bits are in the box, but I'm not going to get them out now. I just wanted to go through quickly the things that I managed to pick up. And this Jabba's playset was always on my list. And you can see here the insert and what have you is still in its plastic baggie. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so that was it from a vintage point of view. Now onto the modern stuff that I managed to pick up. So I actually saw this Stormtrooper, it's VC41. Now I do have the Vintage Collection Stormtrooper VC41, but I've got him on a different card because this is actually the Revenge of the Jedi card. So I'm actually trying to get all of the Revenge cards and I know that I did need this one. So you can actually see it's unpunched. It's in absolutely perfect condition. Nothing wrong with that at all. So I thought that was a bit of a bargain for £20 because I think if you look on eBay, they go for a lot more than £20, the Revenge cards. So let me know in the comments down below if you think that's a good deal or not. But I think that's a pretty good deal for VC41. He's not yellowed at all. Often the helmets go yellow on these ones. So he's obviously been well looked after. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So that's that one. I also managed to pick up a Rio. Now this is actually for my son. So you can see that he's opened it because he's already been playing with it. Probably already lost the gun. Um, that's Rio Durant from the Solo film. So I think this was wave four of the Solo line. So these were these were pretty hard to get hold of at the time. So when I saw him, I knew he'd want him. So that's Rio. Now, as some of you might already be aware, I've actually been doing the reviews of the latest wave of the Vintage Collection figures. I managed to get them early, and part of the reason for that is because they're the actual imported versions from Hong Kong. This one is the UK release, I believe, because it's got the single name pill so if you go back to my review of this stormtrooper that i did a few days ago i'll leave a link in the description below you will see that it does have the dual language name pill so i had to get one with the single name name pill because this is going to be the one that i'm going to keep carded and on my wall i'm not really into collecting variants or anything of name pills or anything like that but i thought if, I, if i'm going to have anything on my wall i want it to be the single name pill version you can see there vc 140 Yes, yeah, so if you want to check out that review, as I mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so apart from the actual figures that I managed to get, you know, the vintage and the modern figures, the only other things that I managed to pick up were some protective cases for some of the, the items that I really want to, you know, make sure never get damaged. So obviously one of those is, is this yak face here. Now this yak face, I didn't want to put in a standard sort of Protec plastic case and have on my wall. I wanted a much better way of keeping him mint. And the way I have done that is by purchasing a GW acrylic case. So I will leave his website in the description below as well. So Christian at GW acrylics, he does these awesome cases. Um, now I don't want to get too much glare on the screen, but basically they come like this. And then what you do is you slide the figure very gently into these little holes that it has here. Slide him in like that. Get the bottom of the case and slide that up. It clips in place and then you have an amazing way of displaying your prized possessions. So that is Yak Face, as you can see, displays it so nice, keeps it perfectly flat. Now, I didn't just get one for Yak Face, I also got one for the figure that I showed you earlier. So my Power of the Force ATST driver, he obviously deserved to be in an acrylic case. You've got to keep him nice, so that's him there, you can see, again, in, a, in an amazing case. They've also started doing cases for the Black Series Archive line, which is amazing. Now, the only one I really want to keep absolutely mint of this line is the Bosk figure, for obvious reasons. He's my favourite character. I already have him loose. And, you know, if any other Archive line figures that I buy, they won't, they won't be going in these cases. But I wanted to keep a Bosk nice in a case, so there's that. And then also he has started to do cases for the special action figure sets. Now, this is a set that I always wanted to keep in pristine condition. So he's actually, so they're actually doing these amazing acrylic cases for these two. Fairly expensive, but I think it's worth it to keep these things nice. And obviously we're gonna be getting that Luke three pack come September, I think it is. 
So I can't wait for that and obviously I'll be having one of those to open but I'll also be getting one to keep in one of these cases nice and protected. So there you go. Okay then guys, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the items that I managed to pick up. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item that I managed to pick up was today. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we shall see you on the next video.